Hello Total War Gamers, my name is Deacon and welcome to a multiplayer Warhammer 2 online uh, battle review that I'm going to show from my uh, battle replays. Uh, we were playing with Honey Badger, uh, Jan Badura, 4C847, Comet, Kaiser Sozi and myself. And uh, I've been adding most of the people that I play with to my uh, friends list so I can send them links to replays or also I can play uh, rematches and can find uh, other people to play multiplayer battles with so seeing my build here uh, two infantry shades which else three dark riders with repeated crossbows uh, chariot uh, malachit on a cha chariot um, death hag on the cauldron so Harganeth executioners and dread spears unupgraded so that's my army. I, I can't see the the allies and enemies, just the single enemy here, Honey Badger. And you've just seen it, he has got two Phoenix guards and uh, the battle is going loose here. So let me pause it for a second. Let's go into uh, the massive overview. You see these uh, Dark Illyrian Reavers deployed on the flank. There's a load of artillery in here, some artillery in the back here. A uh, full line of white lines of grace and uh, supported by a prince. Here is the uh, honey badger with his phoenix guard, and here is the third opponent. So, this is a full uh, dark elf versus a high elf match, which is fun. And um, my build here is, is kind of spread out through the um, yellow is me. So I'm in the mix with uh, with the other guys here, and this, it's a heavily forested area, as you can see. So this this here is all forest, and uh, we're, we're going to have a pretty intense fight here in uh, in this uh, section of the forest. Now my allies are bringing also some Phoenix Guard. There's there's going to be a significant rear fight in this area, and we're going to press in with our shades uh, through the center. And basically what's going to happen is that uh, these two players are going <laughs> to fight it out uh, one on one. And um, the, the two center players are, are going to basically fight two versus two somewhere over here, if I recall correctly. And so let's go back to this view. Uh, we've got some flying units, got this player in the back here. And right now, let's kick things off slowly. And I'm right away going to send over my uh, Dark Riders with repeater crossbows and my Shades uh, to the left flank to s secure against this uh, flanking cavalry. Here in the back we've got some more uh, Dark Riders with repeater crossbows from my ally. And uh, with so much artillery in here, look at this, it's uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 pieces of artillery there, a great eagle, uh, and a lot of Lothan Sea Guard as well. So um, they're heavy on the range, and we're gonna have to press in. Also, this is ranged, a lot of ranged with the high elves, but with my uh, shades and dark reds with repeated crossbows, I do have uh, quite a number of um, shades myself. Now, as I said, uh, the, the white lines of grace they are gonna press in, they are with the prince on a dragon. And uh, this guy, this ally of ours, he's going to kind of hang back and keep his army in reserve. And I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe he was looking for a sort of a, a flanking attack on the player over there. But uh, we didn't have um, much coordination going into this match. We've set the, the races and that was it. Well, what I was going for here is, if, if you can tell, there's all my, uh, my range units quite a few trying to focus down this single unit of Valyrian archers just to shut them down early. Now there's two units of Dragon Princes moving up and uh, we have uh, some answer to that in terms of armor piecing but not a, st a stopping unit or bonus versus large. So um, let's kick in full speed see what happens with, uh, with the Dragon Princes here. They're not properly being countered. I'm clipping them with my uh, Dark Riders, then putting in Malekith and the Chariot. I'm going to try and keep them uh, occupied here and then uh, use ranged. This is a misdeployed um, Bladewind. 
and I have it uh, happened to me multiple times that I uh, try to drop uh, a spell and then lag kind of finishes me. Here are some Witch Elves. These guys are going out of control. Now ideally you pull back the Witch Elves in, at this point and put something with bonus versus large in there. So they're out of control and then cheap Dread Spares for example would be the, the better matchup against the Dragon Princes. And they're now withdrawing the Witch Elves and here are my Dread Spares coming to try and grind them down whilst also peppering them with missiles. Now the Illyrian Reef Arch is still in good health and uh, we're now losing the range fight so we're being bogged down by two units of uh, dragon princes and uh, there's still the Illyrian Reef threat and uh, we're kind of getting clumped up here uh, with, some, with just some rear action trying to keep some units out of the, the range of the, uh, the high elven archers now uh, the dragon princes fortunately uh, they have been shut down now they're both uh, routing and out of control so we can keep them in here and press into the enemy center. So my, my anti-infantry death hag is pushing in, so is the Malekith. I have my uh, Phoenix Guard here engaged. Uh, sorry, my Witch Elves here engaged with Phoenix Guard. Uh, but they're losing this uh, this match because first they're unarmored, then second they're up against all this missile. The thing is though, um, having the Phoenix Guard out of control here, whilst my uh, Harganeth the execution is moved in and I'm, I'm basically trying to tie them down and the witch elves uh, out of targets that are really uh, worth shutting down that way yeah, the, uh, kind of sacrifice them now my allies fires are coming in on the on the rear meanwhile the fight over here has uh, kind of started he's being shot with uh, uh, mobile ranged but uh, the melee it's not really uh, ensued. There's one, two dress bear units that have been routed by uh, dog piled units of White Lines of Craze. But um, so far they haven't really committed. It's, it's like a kiting game in the forest, which is not really in our advantage. These uh, uh, League Swords are just hanging back. So my ally on the right, it's, it's a bit peculiar how he's playing there. Uh, these, uh, this is Reaper Ball Thrower now coming back from routing. These Dragon Princes have been left to stand there. Chariot is coming back into the play. Now, uh, meantime, I think I, 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 I Malekith is still here. Uh, much of the artillery has been uh, dealt with. And, ooh, I, I kind of forgot to show that, but I've been... Malekith is mounted on a Chariot, so I'm using Chariots to... Uh, split the crew from their bolt throwers and my allies doing the same thing with his, uh, with his fires whilst we're under a heavy uh, fire from the Logan Sea Guard so it's uh, it's a trade we figured the, uh, the artillery would be a threat so I'm trying to do what I can to, uh, to put pressure on them and to route them off the field with both uh, range and, uh, and melee attacks and we're kind of like uh, ignoring the Phoenix Guard for the larger part leaving them for, for last Hopefully, well, the thing is, um, the enemy here has brought, where is he? Uh, I'm looking for the enemy lord, I think he's in here, yes he is, it's a techless. So, the dogpiling on their lord, and Malekith is, uh, with his chariot, he is quite mobile, it's actually quite easy to disengage him from, uh, from melee combat. Uh, now Teclis is uh, routing, which is of course a good thing. And um, Honey Badger's um, commander or general can't find him here. He might have actually been the one who brought Teclis and here's Tyrion, that's it. I think Honey Badger brought Teclis and here we are facing Tyrion, the second High Elf Lord who is very tough to take down in melee. So we have great swords, dread spears, witch elves, all on top of Tyrion. Uh, but he's escorted by two units of uh, Phoenix Guard. And then uh, some of these um, artillery pieces are coming back online, which is it's gonna hurt us in, uh, in the long haul. We are ahead in the game here. And I think we're nearing the point where uh, some players withdraw. But this fight here, um, Oh, actually, this player is 
the, white, uh, the high elf player here is being properly dealt with. He has got only one unit of white lives of grace left. And the rest is uh, running, being all the while peppered with arrows. But uh, I think he lost his uh, his general in this fight here. Because it's not, his general is not escorting these white lives of grace. So, uh, this is where the battle ended. We still had our three generals in the fight. Um, and they had mostly um, artillery who had routed before. And I think it's a, a place where people withdrew based on the balance bar. Because in, ter in terms of uh, numbers on the field, uh, I often feel like battles can still go m multiple ways. Sometimes pays off to just hang in there, and you can often turn things around. But um, so far, so good. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this little battle here. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.